six hour shows its BDX system officially in Europe at the EVA here in Nuremberg and it's a rifle scope with an integrated range finder. It communicates via Bluetooth. Andy, you're the president of the Electro Optics division at Six Sauer. Can you please explain us the pre-hunting process with your BDX app? Sure, yeah, and thank you for uh, talking to us today. We're enjoying ourselves at EWA in this beautiful weather. Uh, so the basic concept here is it's like a range-finding rifle scope, uh, but we've actually separated the two devices. Uh, and then with our BDX app, it's kind of like a dating app, and you, uh, via Bluetooth, marry the rangefinder uh, to your scope. Uh, so you basically uh, come into the pairing screen, which looks like this, and when you hit scan for devices, it picks up by Bluetooth the serial number of any rifle scopes or rangefinders in the area, okay? And you select your scope and your rangefinder. There's an unlock sequence to make sure you're controlling your correct devices, and then these are bonded. At that point, you don't need to have your phone with you in the field. Uh, before you go hunting, you would go into profiles. Uh, you can create up to 25 profiles. Uh, they would include all your normal hunting cartridges. Uh, and you would select the one you're shooting with that day. So I've selected a 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, you can select one by hitting these radio buttons. And whatever one you select is now active in the rangefinder. Uh, so now you can put your, your phone away and you go hunting like you normally would. And whenever you range a target, it solves the complete uh, ballistic solution and sends it to the rifle scope. Okay, so when you are hunting and then you're sitting and then game appears. Yes. What's happening in my rifle scope? Uh, so basically uh, out here at about 200 yards, we have a wild boar and I would, I would range that wild boar in the pouring down rain. Uh, and when I do that, it sent my exact hold <laughs> into the scope uh, and it lit up the exact holdover point. Uh, it so works it, in it, the rain as well. It, it works in the rain. It's fully waterproof. This is a good durability test. The rangefinder is totally waterproof as well. So this is a normal hunting situation yeah, in Portland, really testing Oregon. It, yeah. I live in Portland, Oregon. It rains like this all the time. Uh, but the system was capable out to about 800 yards. And it automatically knows the distance, the incline or decline. It knows the temperature uh, and the altitude. Uh, and it knows your ballistic profile. So it lights up one of 76 potential holdover points on that reticle, and it's accurate to one M away out to 800 yards. So you just put the dot on the target and pull the trigger. That sounds fantastic. And there is another function, what I really like, it's the kinetic function. Can you yes. tell us about it? Yes, yeah, so kinetic is a mix of two words, uh, kinetic energy uh, and ethics and hunting, which is important to all of us. This is lovely. Yeah, welcome uh, to Germany. <laughs> and so you can, let's say you're hunting in the States for a white-tailed deer and you want a thousand foot-pounds of energy on target to make an ethical harvest. Uh, you'd set that level. Depending on the range that you uh, range to your target, if it's too far, the ballistics in the rangefinder know that your bullet has lost too much energy. It'll give you your hold point, but it will flash at you to tell you you should pick up your rifle and stock in a bit closer because you're not going to be able to make an ethical uh, harvest. So, yeah, and you can do that both in uh, foot pounds uh, of energy in Europe. You can enter joules. Uh, the scope can be set up uh, in the, you know, the English system or in the metric system, either way. Thank you very much, Andy. Thank you. Let's go inside and get warm. Yes. <laughs>